Today I'm going to synthesize methyl acetate by reactive distillation, and this is going to be part one of probably three for a synthesis of acetic and hydride. To begin the synthesis, I mix together just under two moles of glacial acetic acid and absolute methanol that's been chilled to freezing. This represents 120 and 80 milliliters respectively. Next I add 18 milliliters of chilled concentrated sulfuric acid to the reaction mixture very slowly. The sulfuric acid is added slowly because the dissolution of sulfuric acid in aqueous mixtures is highly exothermic and if too much heat is generated, it risks boiling some of my methanol away which will reduce the overall efficiency of the reaction. Once these are all mixed together, I set my system up for what's called reactive distillation. Reactive distillation is a technique where the reaction vessel also serves as the distillation still, which can be incredibly efficient for certain types of reactions, and I think it worked really well for this one. My heating mantle is set to 105 degrees Celsius, and you can quickly see the methanol and acetic acid refluxing back into the reaction vessel. What's happening now is a basic esterification reaction between the acetic acid and the methanol in which water is produced as a byproduct and sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst. Since the methyl acetate has a lower boiling point than either of the reactants, you can watch it climb up the side of the glassware as it's produced. At around 53 degrees Celsius, I notice my first couple drops of methyl acetate distilling over into my collection flask. The rate of the distillation will increase dramatically as more and more methyl acetate is produced and as the glassware itself heats up. I collect everything that distills over below 60 degrees Celsius and the whole process takes about 90 minutes to finish. This is about a quarter of the time it took me to produce my ethyl acetate using my old method and this product is notably purer despite this being a more difficult compound to synthesize. When it's all said and done, I collect 148 milliliters of methyl acetate with an average density of 0.916 grams per milliliter or 135.57 grams. This represents a 92.5% yield, but the actual yield is a bit lower because there's definitely some slight methanol impurities here given that the actual density of methyl acetate is a bit higher. I hope you found this interesting, and next I'll be generating some carbon monoxide for the next step, so follow if you'd like to see that.